it is a main gathering point for a large part of Tampa Bay, and it's been that way for more than 100 years. And this morning, I'm showing you how Centro Asturiano still has people saying, Vamos Tampa Bay. Chances are you've passed by this building in Ybor City. We still have some existing walls left from the 1902 building upstairs. You can see them. K.R. Lombardia has not been around that long, but he has spent most of his life here at Centro Asturiano. It was started by Asturianos that moved to Cuba and then to Tampa. The first Centro burned down in 1910. It wasn't until 1914 the building now standing was completed. We were sponsored by the Centro Asturiano de la Havana. Until 1959, Cuba owned this building. Right before the Castro takeover, they deeded it to us, thank God. It quickly became the social centro for Hispanics in Ybor City. I remember calling my grandfather, and downstairs there'd be 100, 100 guys playing dominoes or uh, cards and smoking cigars. Some of that still goes on in the cantina. Bad luck. Bye. He would come home, eat real fast, and go play dominoes to get away from my grandmother, I think, what it was. There was no TV back then either, and he'd play every night. Housed inside Centro, a gorgeous theater. Built in 1914, you don't even need uh, microphones. It's acoustically perfect, and they call it a European design. As many of the rooms are torn down and remodeled, members realize the group has to remodel as well. We hope it lasts a couple more generations, but we look at the generation behind me, which is my daughters, there's only three or four of them. Can they get the younger kids in? That's the question there. For right now, Centro Asturiano is renting out different rooms inside their building along with the theater. It's beautiful, beautiful venue. And for those looking for meeting places or a location to celebrate, you can also find more information over on WFLA.com. But what I found interesting, guys, mm -hmm. is it was started because those Asturianos, those Spaniards that came over here, mm -hmm. wanted a hospital. How? And so that's how Centro, it was originally a hospital. They created what is now known as that model of the HMO plan. Okay. And they said everybody else liked it. All the other hospitals and health companies picked that up and they kind of went out of business because everybody else started right. doing it. You know, it has such a rich history. And I think the important thing is there are so many people moving into the Bay Area. Yep. Restoring places yes. like Centro Asturiano, yeah. so I'm sure it'll stay standing, and you know yeah. it'll have a new purpose for the next That's generation. Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and it's beautiful inside. Again, yeah. you have to if you stop on in, they'll show you around. Yeah. With all the new stuff that's popping up, you got to admire the history. Absolutely, of this place, no. No doubt. a beautiful start there. All right.